I made it, Daddy. I'm here. Have you ever known someone who's been able to reach out and touch everyone else's life, and yet can't help themselves? Well, I have, and that someone was me. So, you're the one, huh? The <laughs> one what? The prodigy I've heard so much about. Your audition, I'm told, was borderline ethereal. Is that such a big deal? I just play what I hear. Yes, but your practice alone is quite unorthodox. I'd say that's a really big deal. <laughs> I've been playing like that since I was little. I just see the notes on my body. Like he's painted on me. I think Daddy knew a piano wouldn't always be readily accessible. At least not for me. Speaking of daddies, I need for you to fill out who you like to list as your ER contact. I don't understand. Well, in case you become ill, you I'm need fine. To find... No, you see, it's like. I've got to take this. By the way, we have some of the top recording producers waiting to hear you play. Here's the address. And please just fill this out as soon as you can, okay? And welcome. Yes, Mia. Do you have any paper? Sure. Are you an actor? No, I don't lie. Christopher. Do you know the actress with the long fingers? I'm gonna draw an invisible guard. Orphan girl, ill in the mind. Hey, do you have any change I can get? Sure. Do you have any change I can get? You don't have to ignore me! I hate when people do that. It's the worst thing you can do is just act like it don't exist. I'm sorry. What's your name? Celeste. I am Ashley. Hi. So, what's happening? Are you alone here? Do you have parents? Or... I don't have any parents here. Um, my boyfriend and I just broke up. I do have some money, um, but uh, can I pray for you first? Yeah. Can I lay my hands on you? Yeah. Holy Spirit, we invite you. And I thank you for loving Ashley, and I thank you that you put us together today. And I ask for a provision, and I thank you that you want to heal her. Yeah, and I bless you, I bless your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, it's not very much, so... Thank you.
Unless your hair is so pretty, but it's always all balled up. Do you ever, do you ever wear it out? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> My name is Celeste. And yours? Mocha. Oh, that's a pretty name. Mocha, what are you doing here? I'm a prostitute. I'm waiting for my pimp. How long have you been on the streets? Since I was 18. When I got turned out. 20. He's coming. I just don't know when he's coming. You're really in love with him, aren't you? Yeah. And any man that loves you would not have you on the street so other men could have you. What's your real name? Jasmine. Is there anything I can do? Do you have a jacket I can wear? Sure. I'll be right back. Here, put this on. You can take it. I bought this jacket a couple of days ago and I didn't understand why. Now I do. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Can I sit down here? Sure. I'm sure you can. But not those people. Celeste. What's your name? Um, Clarence. Yes. Clarence Park. Nice to meet you, Clarence. Nice to meet you. Where did you get that? The shelter? You you can get one over there the over that place over there. The shelter they, they give it to you free. I charge you over there. But... Do you want some of my sandwich? Yes, thank you. Of course. What are you looking at? He's a human being too. I've never been this broke. No, I mustn't think this. God will provide. Orphan girl, we found you hiding in the closet, unclothed, crying. Sister Layla began playing the piano to calm you down, and as she played, the other sisters gathered round and began covering you with pages of music notes. With every page, we prayed for healing for every broken place in you. Help 
You are every melody ever created. When you were yet in your mother's womb, I knew you and covered you with my notes. Play them for me now and know who you are, my Ariel. I think you're afraid, like a little frightened kitten. But you are a lion, Ariel. That name means a lot. When God wanted to put their destinies in them, he changed their names from Abram to Abraham, from Sarai to Sarah, and now it's your time, Celeste to Ariel. <laughs> God chose you. The name Ariel, do you know it's a name for Jerusalem? Mm -mm. Yeah. It is the ancient Hebraic word for Jerusalem, the city of David, King David, the Lion of Judah. Wow. You know, when, when Saul was after young David, David hid in caves, afraid for his life until the bravery that was in him all along propelled him forward. Caves are fine for a respite. But now it's time for you to come out of yours. God chose you, Ariel. God chose you. You're a lion, baby girl. Now roar. No fear. It's only meet and greet. Okay. Let's see what you can do. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I've called you by your name. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I've called you by your name. You are mine. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I've called you by your name. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I've called shall not be burned nor shall the flames harm you or scorch you or burn you away for i am the lord your god the holy one of israel your savior the holy 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 i am the lord your of Israel, your Savior, the Holy, Holy, Holy. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored. I will give men for you, and people for your life, and people for your life. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored. I will give man for you.
people for your life. 